Hello my dear students. So welcome back once again to a very beautiful chapter that is known as solid state. In the previous class of the solid state we were actually talking about lots of things wherein uh, just in brief I would just like to remind you where we talked about cubic lattice and a unit cell. We talked about unit cell, we talked about unit cell analysis wherein we talked about lots of things like how many atoms are present in particular type of cubic unit cell, you know, coordination number, we talked about density of the unit cell, uh, there were lots of things, how much fraction of the atom present at a particular lattice site is contributing in a unit cell. So these were the things we talked about, right? So if you want to just revise those things, you can just go back and see that video. But in today's class, we're going to move a step further. See flow of the chapter right in the first class of solid state i have given you the flow of the chapter wherein we will talk about types of solids amorphous crystalline then we will talk about uh, unit cells cubic lattice structure basically structures of solids wherein unit cell if you know what is unit cell you know the whole lattice right now finally we are moving towards you know the end of the chapter wherein in today's class we are going to talk about packing in solids right once again, your teacher, your host, Manjot Singh. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about packing in solids. Now, before we go ahead and explain you this topic, you need to understand that in solids, the particles can either be atoms, they can either be ions or they can either be molecules. Based on this, we have talked about different types of crystalline solids right covalent solids ionic solids molecular solids we have talked about that now all these particles they are considered to be spherical particles please remember this for easier calculations and for easier imagination they are considered they are assumed to be spherical they are not actually they are not all right so basically this is what you have to understand so let's understand packing in solids now, packing in solids basically is classified into two parts. One is known as closed packing and one is known as non-closed packing. Now, before you get confused with these terms, I would just mention one thing over here. These both terms are relative to each other. Like one packing is close to respect to other. One packing is non-closed packing respect to other. Alright, so they are basically relative terms, they are not absolute terms, they are relative terms, they are dependent on each other. Alright, so what is close packing and what is non-close packing to do, to you to show you that, I have just given one clip over here and you know, you need to guess also that which movie this clip is and comment in the comment box below. Alright, let's see this. Yeah, so... There are two people packing their suitcases for a trip to some place in the world that is Spain. Now, I have given you a hint. Just try and see to this. So, what did you observe? You observe there were two people. One was Rithik Roshan and one was Farhan Akhtar. Rithik Roshan is packing everything. He is folding everything and trying to occupy every smallest space inside his suitcase. Right? Whereas, in case of Farhan Akhtar, he's just rolling everything into his towel and just putting it directly into the bag. So, what do you what do you feel over here? Is Farhan Akhtar going to occupy or going to utilize maximum of his bag space? No, obviously. Whereas, Rithik Roshan is, you know, folding everything, even Thai, you just saw, he, even Thai, he has rolled up and he has put it into the suitcase. So, Basically, that is the small difference between close packing and non-close packing. So, in a solid, when all the atoms, they are occupying the maximum space available, right? Whatever is the maximum space available, they are trying to occupy that. That is known as closed packing. Whereas, if there is a lot of empty space inside the solids, molecular structure basically, then that packing is known as, that solid is said to undergo non-closed packing. Is that clear? So, this is very, very important. You need to understand this, right? 
and yes of course you need to comment in the comment box below that which movie this clip was taken from great so in your uh, class 11th and 12th basically we basically say that all the types of packings they are close packing only but relatively we can call one of them is non close and another as close right we'll talk about that as the you know slide show goes ahead and of course i have tried something new in this video so if you like it just you know put that like button and obviously comment below how did you like the video all right great let's go ahead and let's talk about the three steps in packing what are the three steps in packing the three steps the first step is one dimension we understand how one dimensionally packing happens then you see this this is how one dimension packing works then we talk about two dimensions obviously you might be thinking sir solid to 3d hota hai to hum to three dimensional packing hi dekhenge obviously but we'll start the step number 1 is one dimensional packing step number 2 is two dimensional packing wherein there is only one dimension over here see there is only one dimension whereas now if we start stacking the atoms or the molecules one above the other we'll get a packing something like this and this is known as two dimension so you see it has one dimension as this and one dimension as this so if i just call this as length so i would just say in one dimension everything is being put into length whereas over here we have length as well as the breadth okay clear and three dimension i suppose now i do not need to un make you understand what how does a three dimension packing looks like wherein there is length there is breadth as well as there is height and this is how a three dimension packing looks like all right so basically there are three steps to reach the three dimensional packing obviously ultimate is three dimension only ultimately to 3d hi dikhega solid but one dimension se kaise shuru ho ke two dimension mein kaise wo move karta hai and then how it goes into the three dimension that is what is we are going to understand in today's class all right so let's reveal you the first type of packing that is the first step basically that is packing in 1d now packing in 1d there is only one way of arranging the spheres now what is that way that way is something like this right so one sphere and then horizontally see we are just arranging in one direction that is horizontally okay or either or either vertically something like this but generally vertically koi stack rehta nahi hai horizontally aapka stack rehta hai is that clear so we are basically going to be keeping in horizontal direction in one dimension wherein there is only single dimension to it okay now in this if you just highlight the target atom i've just highlighted the target atom just observe this i've given it a different color now this target atom is going to be surrounded by only two atoms which are directly touching it right so basically in 1d the coordination number is said to be 2 coordination number in one dimension is said to be 2 but one dimension mein hamare paas koi bhi solid hota nahi hai isliye iske upar se zyada basic questions aate nahi hai directly 3d mein se hi questions aayenge but yes we need to understand the steps correct all right then let's reveal the second type of second step of the packing and that is nothing but packing in 2d now understand this from one dimension we are going to go into the two dimensions so what are we going to do is we are going to stack the spheres above the one dimensional layer but to stack those one dimensional to stack the second layer over the one dimensional layer there are two different ways कैसे हैं वो लेट्स ऑब्जर्व दिस लेट्स रिकॉल दिस वन डायमेंशनल लेयर लेफ्ट बॉटम ऑफ द स्क्रीन जस्ट ऑब्जर्व आई हैव जस्ट रिकॉल्ड अ वन डायमेंशनल लेयर नाउ व्हाट आई कैन डू इज आई कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट स्टैकिंग अप द स्फीयर्स एग्जैक्टली अबव दी स्फीयर्स एग्जैक्टली अबव दी स्फीयर्स द मोमेंट आई डू दैट द मोमेंट आई डू दैट द पैकिंग वुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस करेक्ट वेयर इन नाउ देयर आर टू डायमेंशंस इन्वॉल्वड there is an horizontal dimension see the horizontal dimension like this 
and there is a vertical dimension like this and if you keenly observe if this layer was given an arrangement a if this layer was given the name arrangement a then this layer would also be a why because it is exactly same as the first layer this would also be a this would also be a right also just keep your eyes on the screen if i just highlight a target atom see again once again i have just changed the color of one of the atoms one of the spheres and if you observe this is going to be your sphere number one this is going to be sphere number two sphere number three and sphere number four these are the four spheres which are directly being attached to this target atom and if you just join the centers of these atoms you will observe that it is forming a square and that's why this type of packing is known as square close packing but ye cheez yaad rakhna in 2d why because jab hum 3d mein jayenge to wahan par bhi square close packing hi aayega but that is in 3d what is the coordination number over here the coordination number over here would be 4 the coordination number over here would be 4 is that clear perfect eh? good similarly let's recall once again the one dimensional layer bottom right corner of your screen just observe this blue color ka ek layer aaya hai now in stacking up in second way what i'm going to do is i'm going to make utilize zation of these spaces between the spheres all right wherein these spaces these are the empty spaces right in the one dimensional so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start stacking the layer something like this wherein i'm putting the sphere of second layer just in the gap of the one dimensional layer observe this if this was the layer given as name as a then this would be named as b why because this is not exactly same as the first layer similarly this would be named as once again a because this and this are now matching correct similarly this and this are matching so this type of stacking is also known as a b a b type of stacking but this type of stacking is in two dimensional two dimension pe hamara jo solid hai wo rukta nahi hai so let's see target atom agar hum iska ek target atom banaye to is target atom ko surround karne wale kitne hain number 1 number 2 if i just want to name this as number 3 this one as number 4 over here this is 5 and this one as 6 over here correct so there are six spheres which are surrounding my target atom now if you just keenly observe i have just joined the centers of these six spheres and you will see there is an hexagonal being formed and that's the reason this is known as hexagonal close packing but in 2d wherein the coordination number is going to be 6 whereas in square close packing the coordination number was 4 now this is two types of 2d packing but solid yahan rukta nahi hai solid to 3d mein jata hai to three dimensional hum is 2d screen ke upar nahi samjha payenge so what i have done is i have tried to make some 3d figures for you and i have tried to compile and show you how in 3d the solids are being packed all right okay before we go to the next part you need to observe something over here are you able to see these white spaces between the two layers these white spaces these white spaces are known as empty spaces and these empty spaces are called as voids very very important term what are voids voids are nothing but empty spaces in the packing of the solid is that clear but what i'm trying to observe what i'm trying to make you observe over here is that the space over here in the square close packing is greater than what you can see over here in hexagonal close packing so that is what i was trying to tell 
that this over here is known as square close packing but relatively relatively compared to hexagonal close packing this is relatively a lesser close packing so i would sometimes call it non closed packing is that clear non closed packing but relative to hexagonal close packing now the two voids that are formed over here just observe this if i just try to draw the figure out of this you will see that this over here is a square void square why did i name square why because it's 2d okay similarly if you just try to observe this over here and just try to figure out it's forming something like a triangle if uh, if i put a triangle between this the space will get filled up right so that's why these voids are known as triangular voids triangular voids is that clear so this is very very important what are voids voids are nothing but empty spaces that are left after the atoms pack in a solid perfect the first kind of void we saw is square void the second kind of void we saw is triangular void triangular void is basically surrounded by three spheres 1 2 3 that is why you join the centers of these spheres it's going to be a triangular void similarly this void is being surrounded by four spheres yes that's why it is known as square void correct similarly when we'll move into the 3d packing there you will see that there are different two different kinds of voids that are being developed over there all right so we'll move on to that and we'll see how i have just tried to explain you that in 3d how the packing goes on perfect chal let's see then 